Good morning, girls and boys. Today is the 22nd Sunday after Pentecost. And did you know this Sunday we celebrate All Saints Day? So why do we call this Sunday All Saints? Well, in the days past, there was a time when it was really difficult to be a Christian. And if you were a follower of Jesus, then sometimes you, you were killed for that. And so that's a really sad thing. And those people we called saints or martyrs. And so All Saints is in remembrance of those believers that went before you and me and died for our faith. Now, today, we celebrate All Saints to remember them, yes, the martyrs, but we also celebrate to remember those that we love who have died. And so, in celebration of those who have gone before us, in celebrating all of us as saints of God, we dedicate this Sunday and call it the Feast of All Saints. So, why don't we take a moment and quiet our hearts and remember those people that we love? So let us begin by opening our hearts and our minds and worshiping God in spirit and truth. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and blessed be God's kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. your praises I'm so glad you're in my life I'm so glad you came to save us You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross my death to pay the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky, Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life I'm so glad you came to save us You came from heaven to earth To show the way From the earth to the cross My death to pay From the cross to the grave from the grave to the sky, Lord, I lift your name on high. You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. My death to pay from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high From the cross to the grave From the grave to the sky Lord, I lift your name on high The Lord be with you And also with you 
Let us pray. Almighty God, you have knit together your elect in one communion and fellowship in the mystical body of your Son, Christ our Lord. Give us grace so to follow your blessed saints in all virtuous and godly living, that we may come to those ineffable joys that you have prepared for those who truly love you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God in glory everlasting. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 23, verses 1 through 12. Then Jesus said to his disciples and the people who were following them around, The scribes and the Pharisees teach you what Moses taught. Do what they teach you, but don't do what they do. They don't practice what they preach. They lay heavy burdens on the shoulders of others, but they themselves don't bother lifting a finger to help. They make sure their good deeds are seen by others. They love to sit at the head tables at banquets and they have the best seats at church. They expect to be greeted with respect when you see them at the market and be called rabbi or teacher. Don't bother calling each other teacher because all of you are students of the Messiah. And don't look to others as your father because you all have one father, the one in heaven. The greatest among you will be your servant. All who puff themselves up will be humbled and all who humble themselves will be honored. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Good morning and welcome. I'm so glad you came to join me. Um, I have a question, as I always have a question. So what happened last night? Does anyone know what happened last night? Oh, that's right, it was Halloween. Oh, wasn't it fun? Oh, the weather was really nice. I know that. But do you know where Halloween came from? I mean, we celebrate it. At least some churches do. Others, they don't. But does anyone know where it came from? Well, the word Halloween actually means All Hallows Eve or All Holy Evening. See how we change that into a word that we're familiar with? But it has to do with, it's the night before All Saints Day. And you know how it is when we all talk about, you know, dying and dead and things like that. Um, I'm not gonna talk about the zombies, the walking zombies or anything, but people can get really scared about that. But I think it's kind of a fun way to celebrate and be ready to, to think about those people that died and went before us. You know, like maybe, maybe you've got some grandparents or great grandparents, yeah. Or maybe you have a pet that went before you. Well, you know God loves us all, don't you? Well, let me ask you this other question. Did you have a chance to wear a costume last night? You did? You were a superhero? Awesome, what? You are a cat? Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, I'm sure we had a few ghosts and other spooky things. That's true. Now, did you think you were really that person or that thing? Oh, some of you thought you really were Superman or Spider-Man? Okay, okay. But for most of us, we just pretended, didn't we? It was kind of fun to pretend a little bit about who we were dressed as, right? Yeah, I mean, I like to pretend I'm really young, but you know, I'm not because I'm a grandma, right? So pretending can be fun, but 
sometimes when you pretend, you can end up hurting somebody's feelings, can't you? Or you can do like the Pharisees and the Sadducees in our story, how they were pretending to love God and do the things God wanted all of us to do. Now, they made sure other people did them, but they only pretended that they did, did, would do it. They didn't do it all the time, and they only did it some of the time. And even though Halloween and dressing up and pretending might sound like fun, sometimes it can get out of hand. And that's what Jesus was coming, uh, getting up, upset about in our story. He didn't want the disciples to do what the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Remember the Pharisees and Sadducees are the teachers and the priests of Jesus' time? He didn't want the disciples acting like them and pretending. You see, they always were pretending they loved God. But if they loved God, they would have seen who Jesus really was, wouldn't they? That's right. And they also wanted to control the people so that the people would do what they told them to do. So if we can't trust the Pharisees or the Sadducees and follow their example, who did Jesus want us to follow and who could we trust to show us the right way to live? Well, of course, Jesus. Jesus is the one who showed how to love and care about people. And Jesus is the one who tells us that God loves us and, and cherishes us as God's children. And do you know what? Even though we don't live during the time Jesus was here on the earth, we can still learn from Jesus, from the stories that Jesus taught. Because, as Mother Mary told us last week, it's in the Bible. All the stories that Jesus told about, all the things that Jesus did, and many other stories about how God loves us is right here in our Bible, isn't it? And we can trust the Bible to teach us how to not pretend. Now, let me ask you this. There was another thing that Jesus didn't like what the Pharisees and the Sadducees were doing. Do you remember what that was? Right. Ooh, somebody was paying attention. Yeah, they were showing off, weren't they? Well, the Bible didn't use that word, but they were pretending like they were good when people were watching. They would put money in the offering plate, lots of it. They'd pretend, you know, and show off that, you know, they were so holy and things like that. And Jesus didn't like that. Jesus says that we're to be humble. And being humble means we don't see ourselves better than anybody else because we're all God's children. That's being humble. And Jesus says when you humble yourself, then God will exalt it, us. You see, the Pharisees wanted the best seats at church. They wanted to sit at the head table, and they wanted people to admire them when they walked down the street. But Jesus said, that's not God's way. We do things out of love for God, and we do it not to be, not to be showy. So Jesus is asking us to pay attention to the things we do and how we do it to not show off and get attention for ourselves, but give God the glory. And the other is not to pretend. Okay, you can pretend on Halloween, but otherwise just be yourself. And you know what? That's the good news for today. You see, the good news is to do the good and loving things all the time, because that's what God loves. We don't have to pretend and we don't have to show up because we are all of value to our God. Isn't that amazing? Let us pray. Thank you, Jesus, who didn't pretend to care about us, but kept it real and didn't pretend about loving God, but really loved God. And all that Jesus said and did 
Jesus helped us to avoid the temptation of showing off. And we ask you, Jesus, to continue to help us so that we can live humbly in your eyes. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. We pray for our family, friends, and pets. God hears us when we pray. We pray for all frontline workers. God hears us when we pray. We pray for the poor and hungry. God hears us when we pray. We pray for our leaders. God hear God hears us when we pray. We pray for those who have died. God hear God hears us when we pray. We pray for COVID nineteen goes away. God hears us when we pray. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Well, boys and girls, we have learned some amazing things about our God and what God expects you and I to do. We have learned to really love God. We're not to pretend, but we're to be authentic. That's a word meaning be real. That we don't want to be like the Sadducees and the Pharisees and pretend that we love God, so that people would listen to us and obey what we told them. No, we love God because we love God. And the other thing we learned is don't show off. Jesus was not impressed when the Pharisees and the Sadducees showed, up, showed off all the time, pretending that they cared about people when people were watching, but then when nobody was watching, they weren't nice at all. No, Jesus wants us to be humble. And that means, remember, that we are just to be ourselves just like everyone else because God loves us all just the same. So, boys and girls, with today being All Saints Sunday and we're remembering those that we love, remember that whether we are together or apart, we will always connect with the heart. God bless, and see you next Sunday. First Corinthians 10.31